how's it going? It's William Pike here again. Back with the Tab Touch guys and, uh, and a heap of replays. Uh, see how they unfold and, and see what I can remember of them all. Alright, here we go again. Set to go. All clear given. Racing. Riding the wave away quite well. Kemmel passes. Shows out with Anders and Mizzy in the early strides. I've got the Oakley Plate here and Celebrity Queen. Then came How Womantic, Zutori and Celebrity Queen. Uh, it surprised me. I couldn't believe I was so close. I actually checked myself going, is, is she okay? Is she travelling? Is... And everything was yes, everything was good, but I was just like, wow, and, and we're right right behind the speed. So off the rails, Anders led at the 650, Ancestry, the fence and Portland Sky between them. I couldn't uh, get out as wide as I was hoping to get. And I remember I, I persisted for quite a while, and then e even again, I, I remember thinking, you, you've got to give this up and go go where you can. And, and the only place I could go was up the inside. Two length celebrity Queen Camel passes. Zutori runs on from Sword of Mercy. Portland Sky's taken the lead. Oh, I was edging closer and edging closer, but I wasn't sure if I could get there. Portland Sky at the 100 metres led. Camel passer and celebrity Queen's driving. They hit the line. Portland Sky or celebrity Queen. They fit it together. I had no idea if I'd won it or not. The day that I was having this day, I'd, I think I'd already run three seconds. There we go again. Just my luck, that'll be another second for sure. Plenty of tension here at Caulfield. We'll have a result hopefully soon. I hadn't ridden here a lot and I didn't know where the numbers were and I was looking around and my gut feeling was I thought I might have got beaten. So I was pretty happy with a dead heap. Got the Perth Cup and real love. Racing now in the cup. She was probably one of the one of the better ones away. Also out quickly as the favourite, Real Love. Things kind of took a real sharp turn for me. A different Real Love turned up at that point. She grabbed hold of the bit, found myself in front. I was thinking, oh, oh the last time I get to wear these colours, that's for sure. Then I remember Danny Miller come up on my outside. I was still willing to take the sit, even though it was a horse that I shouldn't have been taking a sit on. 1,100 metres out, Kirov Boy takes on Real Love and Boy, Dan Miller's going to soften her up. The favourite getting no peace here. I knew he wouldn't get me anywhere, but I was still willing to take a sit at that point. Not only does she have to lead, she's got Miller outside of her with Kirov Boy, but again, Pike goes through. He still wasn't able to take the lead. I remember rounding the bend, I started niggling her along and started riding and I was thinking, why, why are you riding her? Why are you niggling her? You're in front, you've controlled the race. Why don't you just wait? Coming up to the turn, the favourite brings them around the bend. Real love, she's too clear. Tried to pinch, pinch as sort of softer run as I could until I, until I had to go. Coming to the 200, Real love called upon by Pike. Straightened up, she, she offered me a nice kick and I started thinking to myself, oh, I've got away with this. Here comes Red Blast. And I'm like, oh no, please don't. But Real Love responds well. I don't think anyone was actually going to pass her that day. It was just my anxieties. What a brilliant win. It's all the way in the cup for Real Love and the favourite home. Here we go again. I'll press play. And they're racing in the railway as well. Uh, we've got Elite Bell in the railway stakes. And Respondent got out brilliantly off the inside. He was an absolute sweetheart, this horse. One day Grant Williams said put blinkers on her. I said, well, why would you do that? She already tries her hardest. Like, she doesn't need blinkers. The blinkers went on and, and she went from a very nice horse to railway level. Two lengths behind those Chester Road, sitting three deep outside Belmont Girl Elite Bell. I drew a bad barrier. I think I drew 13. And I was trying to spin it in a positive way, going, oh, that, I'm number 13, drawn 13. And, and my number when I was a kid at Jim Carner was number 13 as well. I said, so we're actually an omen. She didn't travel too strong. She was always out the back. But it always felt like she was conserving her energy and she was always going to unleash a burst when, uh, whenever you could find a room to do so. Down on the inside, Elite Bell. She'll have to pogo stick over the field to win from there. She's jammed in on the rails. I didn't have a clue what I was going to do. The cleaner led them for home in the railway. I was just thinking to myself, any little gap I can find, she'll go. Fuchsia Bandana, 100 left to go. Getting through as Elite Bell strike me. Pinky thread at the eye of the needle. I knew if I could just find her half a run somewhere, she would give me a good kick. And that's what she did. Elite Bell storms through in the middle. Hit the lead. What a magnificent win. All right, so here we go again. Field is set for the William Reed. Uh, it's the William Reed Stakes and Mark's Crusader. All clear and they're racing in the group one. Mark's Crusader missed the start. Pre-race, I was talking to Wayne. And he just said, forget about everything, just go ride the race. It's the valley, 
there's a chance you get held up. If it happens, it happens. I jumped very ordinary. I was, did what I don't normally like doing. I actually niggled him up for a long time, or felt like a long time to me. Then came Elite Street and swats that from Mars Crusader. I remember sort of thinking to myself, where the heck am I gonna go? What do I do from here? I remember those words that Wayne said, it doesn't matter if you get held up. I kept close down to the rails. I was able to find a gap to, to shoot through. Portland Sky is running up behind them, then Mars Crusader who hunts the fence. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't surprised by the turn of foot. Mars Crusader's wedging through and bursting through. Mars Crusader drives through, takes the leader, smart horse, a group one winner. I think I, I think I nearly fell off the back of Mars Crusader when he let down. I definitely remember Wayne after the race. He's a character and, and he's, he's he had it all out on display. He's not going home, W Pike. Sorry, Mr. Peters, he's not going home. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>